with militarised violence without reflecting upon the violence that this colonial project was founded on. Our ongoing commitment to that colonial violence, though, one of the ways that we demonstrate that is by our continued exports of military equipment to the State of Israel. Shame. These, this is products that are manufactured here by us, the workers, for the purposes of killing workers elsewhere in the world with whom we have far more in common than we do with the rulers of this country yes. who would seek to silence us when we call out their lies, their complicity and their total and utter lack of humanity. Israel is not the only customer of the Australian arms manufacturing industry. In fact, we'll take anyone we can get. Uh, the thing is, since the unveiling of the Defence Export Strategy in 2018, it has been an explicit goal that is on their website of the federal government to make Australia a top 10 weapons exporter by 2028. Shame! In the year that they announced that strategy, our defence export permits were worth an estimated $1.2 billion. Two years after they announced that strategy, that had ballooned to $5.2 billion. The government is absolutely throwing money at the weapons manufacturing industry in an effort to expand it because they want to sit at the big boys' table when it comes to the global arms trade. But the good news is, the biggest thing standing in the arms industry's way is actually not money, because they have plenty of that, plus the government gives it to them whenever they want it. The biggest obstacle they face is us. They can't find a workforce. The lack of appropriately skilled labour is the main thing that is putting the brakes on the expansion of the weapons industry in this country. So everybody here who doesn't work for a weapons company, pat yourselves on the back. Good on you. You're already contributing. Well done. Friends don't let friends work for Lockheed Martin. But Defence has also noticed this problem. They themselves are like projecting shortfalls in recruitment to the industry and their response to that is something that they like to call securing the talent pipeline. What does that mean? It means that they are sponsoring STEM education programs in schools and in order to, this is a quote from the Department of Defence, ensure greater numbers go on to achieve fulfilling careers in the defence industry. Right. Oh. The National Youth Science Forum is brought to you by Lockheed Martin. The first Lego League competition has partnerships with Boeing and BAE Systems. The weapons giant Thales has a joint venture with Elbeat, one of Israel's most successful weapons companies, where they're developing drones which will eventually be used to surveil and kill Palestinians. And they also run the, tech cha the Thales Tech Challenge in high schools. Perhaps even more troubling than the programs that are aimed at children, Raytheon has responded to surveys saying that many primary school teachers feel ill-equipped to teach STEM skills by developing a professional development course for teachers called Engineering is Elementary. So Raytheon is teaching science teachers how to teach science. Just whose interests do we think that might be serving? But this puts students and teachers, particularly STEM teachers, in a unique position. You can personally undermine the government's plans to become a top 10 arms dealer by good old fashioned non-participation. The weapons companies often hide their involvement in these programs, so you have to look closely. But luckily, uh, some of us at Wage Peace and also our friends at the Medical Association for the Prevention of War have done that close looking for you and produced some handy guides to show you which, company, which programs have ties to which weapons manufacturers. Um, our friends at Teachers for Peace in Victoria also recently launched a boycott of the National Youth Science Forum and I would encourage everyone to Google Teachers for Peace and get on board with that campaign. Um, I've got some posters here. These show all the programs that are sponsored by a company that directly supplies the IDF. So I'd really encourage everybody to come and get one of those before you go. Put it on your fridge, put it in your staff room, put it on your school notice board. Um, you can also download this from our website, wagepeaceau.org. Um, there's a heap of, rep of uh, resources that we've put up there, both for students and for teachers, to support you to organise within your school community, within your workplace, within your just general community, um, to basically to teach for peace and liberation, not for weapons corporations. So let's kick these bastards out of the classroom for good. Thank you.